What's up everybody? My name is Elliot and today we're here with John Ross of Watch JR Go and he brought us a little uh, Chinese car. Fun egg car. It is an Easter egg. Let's check it out. All right, so what is this thing? Uh, it's 2011 Snyder ST 600C, 600cc twin motorcycle engine in the back, rear wheel drive, and uh, it's technically a motorcycle. It's not, not really even a car. Yeah, you can see the uh, it's just got a little motorcycle plate there. Absolutely. It's also covered in reflectors to meet the motorcycle uh, laws. And it, it sort of, it tries to be a car, you know? It's not quite a car, but it wants to be a car. Yeah, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, an every man's Reliant Robin. Absolutely. Four doors. Worse. Three wheels. The front wheel even still has a hubcap that is just... <laughs> it absolutely does. Hilarious. And it's got a... Three headlights. Motorcycle head beam. Because apparently these two headlights are just almost for show, I mean, right? Yeah, you want to see them? Yes. You want to see nightlight mode? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that does nothing. <laughs> cool. Uh, can we open the, the front? Yeah, we can open the front. You got to open the passenger door, reach all the way across to the front deck. There you go. But let's see what we got here. As he pointed out in his own video, you don't need to do anything to keep that up. It has a... A hood prop, but it's not necessary if the uh, hinges are rubbing. Yep. It just holds it up. It. Anyway, it is water-cooled, which is pretty impressive. I was surprised by that. It looked like an air-cooled type thing, but it's got a really beefy radiator here and the world's most simple steering setup. Yeah, you, can, you can watch it in action right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like I said, the boot has had uh, some level of failure here yeah. in multiple areas. But overall... Uh, it wasn't that bad until you touched it. You broke it more. Man. Oh, well, sorry. It was, it was at least two pieces. Now it's five pieces. Yeah. It's covering more of the shaft. That's true. <laughs> it's, it's, doing more, more it, it's doing more of the boot job. So we'll go through the process here. Get this out of the way. Flip these out here. I'll just open the back hatch real quick. Go, and then you can come around here. Flip open these latches for this giant insulated cover and you have a motorcycle engine. And that is a power plant right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's much of a power plant. I've heard it's like 35 horsepower. So pretty bad, maybe 40 horsepower, somewhere in there. I believe it. This thing is just... <laughs> yeah. Something. Absolute monster. Yep. And all of that is a, a parcel bay. So your, uh, your luggage can get a little toasty. It absolutely is. It is insulated, like I said, so it stays cool to the touch on top, but I think on long trips, uh, your luggage might get pretty warm. Oh, imagine taking a long trip in this thing. It, that would be terrible. <laughs> Every trip's a long trip because the top speed is only... Uh, yeah, 65-ish. Yeah, and the, uh, yeah. the Speedo red lines at like 50, so... Yeah, what's, the what's... Speedo says 70 when you're going 55. Yeah. You see, it's got a a red line at 50, as if they really don't want you exceeding that. And having driven this just a little bit, I, I believe that. I bet 50 feels pretty unsafe in this thing. Other than that, interior features, nice wood that was, you know, nice at some point. The last nine years haven't been too kind to it. I'm sorry, that's plastic? Oh, I'm sorry. Is it? Is that what's, wood, wood doesn't do this? Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's <laughs> sort of slightly fake wood. Got an aftermarket radio with a, an SD card reader. Factory radio, though. Wow. That's a factory aftermarket radio. Oh, yeah. These these speakers are fake. This is the only real speaker <laughs> in there. There's not even holes. It's just dimpled plastic. Um, other than that, you got crank windows. The kids don't know about these. <laughs> and uh, manual locks, and that's at each corner. So if you were going to haul around four or five people with this, you'd have to go around and unlock each door individually, which actually wouldn't be that bad because you can, I think you can just reach them. Yeah, you can kind of reach them. So all. that's not that bad. No, it's not terrible. Um, got a horn, which is f funny. <laughs> uh, it, ha it does have a glove box and the window sticker, which if you can believe it, this was $79,995 back in the day. So this is how you feel like a real performance driver here. Headlight, fog light, one, singular. 
and this is for your warm air no ac this shifter is leaves a lot to be desired apparently it's just a, a cable drive yep. type thing so it's not it's not like the gated shifter in your lamborghini or ferrari it's slightly worse it's yeah it's just a little worse yeah and there's some play this is in gear right now and there's some play uh but that's okay you know it was only fifteen hundred dollars so so what you're saying is this car is bad for social distancing uh very bad for social distancing and uh, also in some states you might have to wear your helmet to oh yeah because this uh, you do have to have a motorcycle uh endorsement to even operate this thing so all right well i guess we're gonna get it out of the warehouse here which is pretty easy because it's tiny yeah you can and, drive it anywhere and we'll take it out on the streets which i'm uh, i'm excited i'm concerned I have, a, I have a lot of mixed feelings about getting this thing out on the road but i certainly haven't ever driven anything like it so if it makes you feel better you can just take it out on a sidewalk oh yeah that's it's, true it's the same way yeah and i don't even think it's illegal no it's four it's only four <laughs> foot wide so so let's get out there We're uh, setting off here in the Snyder. Setting off. What is it? The S ST 600 C. ST 600 C. Yep. Okay. The pedals are the most far apart pedals I've ever seen. Terrible pedals. You can fit a full foot almost in between. Yep. Each. And, and the clutch is impossible to access. Woo! Sounds. You can tell it's a runner. It's, she's built for speed. <laughs> From the noises. All right, don't want to take anything too fast because I don't want to tip. Nope. All right. Now the speed she's built for is 45 miles an hour. It's it's even listed on the window sticker there. Oh yeah, that's not a confidence inspiring shifter, is it? <laughs> you gotta have to find the gear. You got it. You got oh, it. Oh yeah. Once you're going though, it's yep. okay. No, not bad at all. Yeah, I feel like we're going tremendously fast. It feels, it feels like 60, but we're going like 20. <laughs> yeah, we cannot be going very fast at all. Brakes are. Uh, Brails, you know, yeah. they do stop the car, but the pedal feel is like I'm stepping on a rock. <laughs> There's no pedal travel whatsoever. I love it. But now I've got the bold task of pulling out into traffic with something yes. that feels like it uh, doesn't go. Yes, you do. If you guys thought a, a Prius didn't Could have any power, this is your definition of giving a wide berth when you need to pull out somewhere. It's so, dangerous. Well, let's go. Dangerous. There's third. You got it. <laughs> this is all she's got, folks. Floored? Yep. Is it have a fourth? Yep. Nailed it. Oh, Sp yeah. And if you can bring it into the speedo here, it looks like we're just flying. I can assure you we're not going as fast as this is saying we're going. It's about 20 off. Because, oh my god, it's rattling in here. Flip the back around. I don't even know if that's gonna come out on camera, but we're going straight and it's... Yeah, it's shaking up and down like crazy. And I have to hold it. <laughs> could be because of wind, could be out of alignment. <laughs> Who knows? Again, these... Okay, the brake. It's just, it's just the pedal feel that's not good. And every gear feels like you're not getting it right. <laughs> good news though, a little thing, we can just whip it around. It's a lot of an incline for a three-wheeled car though. I got my signal on, safety. I mean, it sounds like we're flying, but if you can see this stuff going around behind the background, we were just crawling through a residential area. And this thing is not rated for highway use, if I'm correct. Uh, it's a low speed vehicle, so it's so supposed no. to do, uh, you know, like 45, but Kansas has no laws for low speed vehicles. All right, we're back. Uh, 
that would make sense to have this. Yeah, in Wichita, it's like borderline drivable because you can get around. Uh, the traffic's not wild, but if you had to like get through traffic, oh my gosh, I mean, you'd be fighting for your life with this car. Yeah, I mean, this would be okay on a college campus. Like, yeah, absolutely. Uh, in fact, it would be hilarious on a college campus. You'd be what? a hit. Yep. Uh, but that's it. I mean, that is like it. Once you get out on the actual streets, super it's sketchy. Just, it's dangerous. Yeah. yeah. You're at top speed going down like a 55 mile an hour road almost. There's not much yeah. left. And you're right, the Model T feels safer than this car. Oh, yeah, there's some curves up here. Hit <laughs> the curves? Yeah, let's hit some curves. So All right, let's see if it rolls. Well, hopefully not. <laughs> this is as curvy as it gets in Kansas, guys. So. It holds RPM so much in between. It, it does. Like, I'm off and it's like. Mm. Going into a curve in a three wheeled vehicle with two people in it. I could go faster, I think, but. Yeah. You can probably there's, be flat. There's some there's some roll there's some body roll though. It doesn't feel good. Look at that. If that comes out on camera, it is wallowy. And this speedo still cracks me up. It looks yeah. like we're flying. We just aren't. What a weird car. Like I said, I, I just can't can't put my finger on who this car is for other than oh. What gear was that? <laughs> That was impressive. That was a foot slipping off in a second. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently this thing's built pretty well. It handled yeah, that. Yeah, it did. Right. That's, you need two another. four does not work. Yeah, no, no. There's does no not have the kind of does not have the torque for a two four. The gears are incredibly close range now. It's small enough that I think I can leave it like this, and I'm not like illegally parked. <laughs> you are fully yeah. in the parking spot. That is the uh, the Snyder driving experience. Yep. All right, so that was driving the uh, the Snyder. Pretty weird, pretty unsafe feeling uh, little Chinese car. But you definitely don't ever see them on the road and I'm pretty sure there's a good reason why. Uh, I don't think this car is good for really anybody to drive on public roads. I think it's meant for uh, putting around a college campus or a neighborhood uh, and that's that's really about it. But thanks again, uh, John Absolutely. Ross, for, uh, for bringing it by and letting us take a look at this thing. and. It's just not every day you get to see one. No. So, all right, well, that'll do it for today's video. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like, subscribe, do all the normal YouTube stuff, and I'll see you on the next video.